We've been needing some tall, adjustable jack stands on our farm for a long time now, especially for our Wilmar sprayer. Every year we swap the wide flotation tires in the wet season to skinny tires in the summer, and every year we have a challenge to get the machine jacked up. It's not really possible to get the forklift on it, so we usually stack up a bunch of wooden blocks on top of each other until we can get a bottle jack high enough, which isn't the safest. And I'm sure we'd use a pair of heavy-duty jack stands for other purposes on the farm as well. Almost all the pieces for the two stands were to be cut out of one sheet of quarter-inch plate. It's about all I can muster is to get it loaded on the table. I really need to come up with a better system for handling the heavy material. And I knocked the torch head off, which is luckily held on magnetically and didn't do any damage. I've been neglecting my CNC maintenance. I swapped out the tips and electrodes and did some software updates, and the table was back to cutting like it should be. I had some 4 inch square tubing that I'm using as the inner piece that the bottle jack will sit on, but I didn't have anything that this would slide into, so I decided I was going to have to fabricate the outer sleeve. I cut out two sides of the sleeve that could be bent and molded into a 90, using the 4 inch inner piece as a form. And then I loosely held the two halves together while I welded them which ended up giving a nice snug fit, but still letting them slide within each other. It took me a couple tries to get this fit right. I knew it was going to be critical for the overall sturdiness of the stand. After welding all the sides, I squared up the ends in the bandsaw. I knew as soon as I started welding on the base plate that it was going to warp and cut, so I clamped it down to the table hoping to minimize it. What I usually do when I'm trying to square up something like this is put a heavy tack on the side that the piece needs to lean towards, and then carefully nudge it over before tacking the opposite side. And then usually there's enough wiggle room to repeat this in the other two directions as well. I wanted to get everything tacked into place before welding it solid. And when I was welding it solid, I hopped around a lot trying to let things cool and spread out the heat, which helps minimize warping. And it worked great. I was happy to see it was still a nice flat base after I unclamped it. I thought it was really important for the bottle jack to be secured to the top of the jack stand. I cut some small tabs for one side to slide into and then a couple bolts tightened down and secured the other side.
I wanted to somehow internally weld this top plate to the inner square tubing, because if the weld was around the outside, it wouldn't sit flat when it was all the way down, and it would likely cause the tube to get stuck. The only way I could figure out how to do it was cut some slots that matched up with the inside of the tubing that I could weld through. This also worked great for getting it lined up and left the top still flat for the bottle jack. I told other guys on the farm that I would have the jack stands ready to use the following day. Last thing I needed to do was drill some holes for the pins. But before I do that, I want to talk about the sponsor of this video, Honey. I do a lot of shopping online out here on the farm because I really try to avoid trips into town when I can. The biggest problem I have shopping online though is how much prices can fluctuate and the uncertainty of not knowing whether you're getting the best deal. Kelly and I have been using Honey for a long time now and it's fixed all of that. Honey is a free browser extension that automatically finds the best promo codes whenever you shop online. My favorite thing about Honey is how it shows you the price history, so it's easy to know whether it's a good time to buy or not. Honey is also very easy to install. As a test, I uninstalled the extension from Chrome, reinstalled Honey by going to joinhoney.com rainfall, and was back to browsing the best deals on lumber, tractors, and dog beds in less than 45 seconds. There's literally no reason not to use Honey for everything you buy online. It's free to use and installs in just two clicks. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash rainfall. That's joinhoney.com slash rainfall. Thank you for your support, Honey. And you too, Kelly. My mag drill doesn't quite go deep enough to drill through both sides at once, which made this a little more complicated. With the jack stand all the way retracted, I drilled a pilot hole through both the outer and the inner tube at the same time. Then I pulled the inner piece out two inches and drilled through the same hole again. I kept repeating this, each time pulling the stand out another two inches. Once I had all the holes on the inner tube drilled, I pulled it out of the way and drilled a second hole on the outer piece three inches below the upper one, which is offset and will give me one inch increments of height adjustment. Drilling the other side, I stuck a bolt through both holes on the underside to make sure it was lined up each time. And then when I stepped up to the 7 8 inch hole, I used the actual pin to keep it lined up. Took a lot of careful measuring, but it came out pretty good. The jack stands weren't quite done. But they were usable, and the guys were waiting on me for them up at the farm shop. You promise it's front heavy? No. You just think it's got to be. Because if it pivots, you know, right here at the wheels is where it pivots. And that cab can't move. Yeah, there's not too much back there. More than just changing the tires, the job that really pushed us to get these jack stands made yeah. is we're needing to replace the two inch wide main pin that the whole sprayer articulates and steers on. 
We probably put it off a little longer than we should have. You could feel some play in it driving through the field. We welded some all thread onto the bottom of the pin and built the puller bracket that we could tighten a nut down on. You want a washer on there? Yeah. I think it's okay. At the same time, we were hitting it with a sledge from the top. It was a ton of work. The pin was really stuck in there, but we finally got it out. I was mostly there for emotional support. The majority of the credit goes to the two Dans. And it was a really good thing we replaced the pin, because we were surprised to find that the pin had actually snapped in half somehow, which is why I could feel the play in the steering out in the field. This is just the top half of the pin. But the jack stands worked great for stabilizing the front and the back while we got it replaced. After we finished up on the sprayer, I hauled the jack stands back to the barn to get them finished up. I got some brackets that I could mount hand truck wheels to, so it would be a lot easier to move the jack stands around the shop. I also thought it'd be a good idea to put a thin rubber mat on the bottom of the stand, absorbing some of the unevenness of a shop floor. I glued this on with some adhesive. And lastly, I gave them a couple coats of paint. This was a project that I've been meaning to get to for a long time, and I'm really glad I got them built. It's going to be a lot safer jacking up on the sprayer to change the tires now, and I'm guessing we'll be finding other occasional uses for these jack stands as well. I think it was well worth the cost of a couple hundred bucks for the sheet of metal to have these available to us here on the farm. <laughs>